Underrated Over was easier than overrated. Overrated is hard because you kind of don't want to punch some of these cards, it feels like. I don't want to just hit a card that I think lots of people enjoy, obviously. Right, that's so, why it's rated highly. So none of these overrated cards are truly bad. They have to be good to be even like considered overrated by someone. I, I think one is bad. One of the most overrated cards for an alt art, Gengar and Mimikyu Tag Team. Oh, interesting. For just how... I think the artwork is not that crazy. It's a little bland. I think people look at it and sometimes go, oh, that must just be what, like, what the regular I have the exact artwork same is. Yeah, I think as, as, soon as I art, it could be better. What the hell is wrong with you, boy? But when we're talking overrated and how expensive this card is, at some point you gotta be like, should it be this expensive for okay. how many of this card exist and how many tens exist? I, of course, am talking about the Umbreon VMAX, the Moonbreon. Oh, oh, man. You son of a bitch, I'm in. Look at this stuff right here. We got a highly investable box of Pokemon snacks right here. All the Kanto friends. We got the three little homies right there. We got Pikachu. Pikachu's featured on the snacks twice, I've noticed. I know mean, that's a little unfair. Definitely could have easily fit an Eevee head in that spot, but it's highly collectible, highly investable, highly going to be sealed upon and do that stuff. Betty Crocker, you yeah, collaborating with Pokemon, you money grubbing bitch. Tier list time. I think every third video I'm just going to start doing tier list until I get tired of it. I'm happy that some people are enjoying them. If you don't like them, that's perfectly fine. Plenty of other videos for you to watch. I'll probably put out another video along with this one. But we have V-Star Universe and Crown Zenith, two of people's favorite sets. We're not going to be doing Pokemon specifically. Oh, no, no, no. Today we're going to be ranking all 16 of the full art supporters that are in that set. 16 exist. I have them all in Japanese right here. We're going to go through the entirety of it. This tier list did not exist. I had to create this one. So if you want, I left a link in the description down below for you to create your own tier list. If you do not like mine, that's perfectly fine. Make your own. Feel free to use it for your own videos. Do whatever the hell you want with it. It's a free public tier list for anyone to use, however the fuck they feel like it. This is my third one that I've created. Go for it. Use any of them that you want, anytime. Do whatever. We got 16 of these guys. Man, I got some cool sleeves on these homies right here. That's pretty, that's pretty fucking badass. Got Greninja right there. But we got 16. Going to be doing the same thing, of course. We got S, A, B, C, and D. Uh, I have two in S and D, and then A, B, and C, you're going to have four cards in it right there. We have four total for the grand 16 total. Without further ado, we're going to get rocking, we're going to get rolling, and go into our first one here. Ooh, so we got Cynthia's Ambition right here. This is a top tier card. Cynthia is a top tier champion. There's just no getting around that stuff. And Gastrodon, too, being featured, not just the usual Garchomp or Lucario. Very, very nice. I'd like to see some of other uh, Cynthia's Pokemon featured, maybe a Rose Raid, maybe a Milotic, maybe any of that other stuff, too. You never know what could happen with stuff. This is a top tier card. Cynthia always gets top tier art. That just cannot even be disputed. Atsuya Yuki drew this one, and I mean, there's just nothing. What, where do you put this one? Where do you even put a baddie like Cynthia? Where do you even start? I mean, you put her in A tier. That's what you do. Straight in A tier, can't be disputed. Fantastic card. They actually did Cynthia really good. Cynthia, I don't think, has really gotten any bad cards for, for all its supporter line at all. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's going right there. All right, what we got next? Ooh, we got Roxanne up here. Roxanne in the museum studying all the fossil Pokemon. This is why I actually drew Cranidos. I like fossil Pokemon quite a bit, and they're some of my favorites right there. Looking up at a nice little Aerodactyl fossil, you got a Bastiodon right there, and then what's looking like a Tyrantrum right there at the very fort. Just doing her old thing, going around there. Very nice card, very beautiful card. Most of these cards are the Full Art Trainers. They're my favorite to collect anyway. I'm not really going to have a bad one that I like, obviously, when it comes to a tier list. Some are going to be higher, some be lower. I always have to explain that. Toshineo Aoki did this one. And I mean, it's just, you, it, it's a fantastic card. Roxanne from the Hoenn region, rock type gym leader. I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong with cards like this for sure. A lot of the SARs, this is where SAR started, by the way, was V-Star Universe. And then these carried forward in the Galar Gallery in order, uh, Crown Zenith name type stuff. So where's this one going? I'll give this one a solid B tier. Not my favorite card, but definitely not a bad card comparatively to other ones. If someone had this, if anything B or above is someone's favorite card, I completely understand with art like this. It's just going to be what people like like more all right what's next Ooh, we got volo i do not like this volo as much as the other volo the one where he's actually in his arceus outfit uh that's sitting up top not gonna spoil any for that and last time i tried spoiling something people got on me hey game's like three years old another one's about to come out here shortly this is volo a part of 
the uh, the guild where he's selling the items and stuff like that. You can kind of get some semi-rare items. I think he's holding like a thunderstone or like a, a shard in his hand right there. Uh, not my favorite Volo right here. Volo is still a top tier character in my opinion. The art is great. When it comes to standard full art supporters, this one's actually an SR. They actually had SR and SAR in V-Star Universe. They combine them up. So you could technically get two trainers in one box with how that was going. Definitely not a bad card. Zoichiro Gunjima did this one. It is a great card, right? It's it's fantastic. Like trainers are my favorite. I'm not gonna, but when it comes to certain ones, placing certain ones higher than others, this one's gonna be C tier. Like I said, I like the other Volo a lot better personally. Not really a big fan of the seller door to door seller Volo. Excuse me, sir. Can I interest you in some knives? No. I already have knives. All right, what we got next? What we got next? Ooh, we got ear dust. This is going to be representative of the Pearl Clan right here. Pearl Clan, not my favorite clan. I definitely like the Diamond Clan a little bit more, but Irida is a top tier character, very instrumental for the storyline. Got a little Ingo back there too. Uh, Ingo got dropped into the whole thing as well. I basically fell from the sky just like you. Complicated story, falling from the sky, you know, Arceus wanting kids and other people from different regions to do their bidding, all that stuff too. Pearl Clan, very nice clan right here. Paulina, I don't know why you didn't get a full art card. You were prime pickings for one, but I guess they were just like, eh, that would break the entire full art trainer market. We can't fucking do that. Naoki Saito did this one, and one of my favorite artists when it comes to the full art trainer game. Has drawn so many prolific ones. Did not skip a single beat with this one, and it's, it's pro clan still. Solid A tier card. Definitely an A tier card featuring the entire gang all hanging out, all running free. I mean, very clearly, they put a lot into this card. Irida, you got a good one. All right, what's next? What's next? We got Grant. Grant was kind of a surprise for me that Grant actually got a card. So Grant is the rock-type gym leader. They did a lot of rock-type gym leaders from the XY. I think it's the second gym leader. And they actually featured a couple of the fossils. So you got a Tyrant and a Amara down there basically hanging out. Those are two fossil Pokemon for XY. And you got Grant just reaching up for some fruits, just reaching up for uh, some berries up there, bringing them down for little homies. Not a bad card. I definitely think Grant getting the card. Kato did a fantastic job on this one. It's just not not my favorite character, not my favorite. But, I mean, when it comes to cards, this is not the worst card you can actually get from a set, in my personal opinion, especially when it comes to art. Grant did have a couple uses, but not too many. It's, it's C tier. It's not bad. It's definitely not one of the best ones, and it, it's going to take a specific XY lover to put this upper in their favorite tiers. But it's not a bad card. It's still pretty good. Still a nice SAR. All right, what we got next? Ooh, we got the Diamond Clan. Now, this is where it's at. This is is the best clan in the actual stuff you got freaking adamant out there just what a freaking giga chad what a fucking dude right there got uh arezu and may and then you got is can right there i didn't even go over all the pearl clan names i don't know why i didn't i was just talking about something else naoki saito also did this one i'm a much bigger fan of the diamond clan i'm a much bigger fan of dialga and i'm a much bigger fan of this stuff but anything legends arceus i think was fantastic that was a great game honestly people who have not played legends arceus you're missing out on one of the best pokemon games ever fucking made in my personal opinion just a power stance of a card right here very contrasting to the pearl clan and just you, you get a feel for what the game's all about you got two clans that are fighting against each other and this is a top tier card this is a tier very very easily an a tier card in my opinion right there with the irida definitely feature i mean like you, you can see where Perrin got all the stuff from right there where she got all that swag from from the admin jesus christ all right what we got next what we got next Ooh, we got friends in Sinnoh. this card's weird to me i don't know why there's just something about don barry and lucas hanging out with volknor and cynthia i don't know it's just kind of a weird card altogether it's still a great card i got nothing against it definitely hideki ishikawa you did, you did a good job on it like it's definitely not a bad card to pull by any stretch of the amount it's just a weird concept of a card definitely not my favorite of the friends cards this one's going into a c tier for me it's still a great card though I do like the actual multiple trainers in one card. They had the friends in Alola, then they had friends in Galar, then they can actually continue that going forward with friends in Sinnoh and friends in Hisui, which we will see a little bit later. Not a bad card. This is one of the SR cards right here. It's, it's good. Nice, very, it, it, it's just it's not, it, compared to some of the other ones, it's going to be a C tier card for me. Yes, I know Cynthia is on the card. How dare I put a card with Cynthia on in C tier? Well, I just did, so. Yeah. All right, what we got next? Ooh, we got Colrus right here. This is Colrus's experiment, I'm pretty sure. So this card isn't bad either. It's definitely not one of my favorite SARs from the set as well. Colrus eating a burger in the lab. Eh, I mean, it's, 
it shows a little bit more of their stuff too. But uh, Colrus is getting a much better looking card coming up in my personal opinion. Maybe he'll actually get an SAR featured in that as well. Maybe they'll give him a super special art featuring some of his steel type Pokemon known as like the actual, uh, he's like the king, not the king, the ruler, the sci main scientist of Team Plasma, like the Neo Team Plasma in black and white too. And I just don't feel like this really does a whole lot to support that. Some people do like this art where it just shows like little mundane things that people are doing, especially when it comes to stuff like that. I think it works better with Pokemon typically because Pokemon is what we see, you know, doing the action battle poses and fucking stuff like that. Trainers, I, I don't know. I mean, showing trainers in a more dynamic role has always been my thing about that stuff. Solid C tier card. Definitely not the worst one. There, It could be a little better, though. All right, what we got next? Uh, Professor Rowan. So this is going to be Professor's Research, Professor Rowan. I don't think this is anyone's preferred Professor's Research at all. Like, almost every single professor had gotten one of these. I think the only one that didn't get one was, like, Professor Birch and Professor Elm. Maybe another professor didn't get one, but I'm almost probably maybe Professor Sycamore too. But of all the professors, Professor Rowan is the least one in my personal opinion. It's just not my personal favorite. Rowan's not really that big into the characteristics. I couldn't even tell you what Rowan does. I know at least what like some of the other scientists do. I know he was at the lakes whenever they were over there hanging out with Don or Lucas, depending on which character he picked. But other than that... I don't know what he does that much. It's still a fantastic card. It's still a good card. Very playable. Very good. You can throw in your deck if you absolutely prefer this guy. However, they've made several variations of Professor's Research. So, do what you will. Take your pick. This is going to be a D tier card for me. Just doesn't do it for me. I'm sorry. All right. What's next? Ooh, we got Gardenia's Vigor right here. And we have a few actual grass Pokemon that are making little cameos in there. So, we got a Cherim. We got the Blossom. We got a Cheruby up there. I'm almost positive. I think that's an Ivysaur bulb right there. I could be could be wrong but that looks a little bit like one but this is gardenia so this art is absolutely fantastic like there is not one bad thing to say about it yoriyuki ikigame did this one and i mean they, they knocked it out of the park this was one of the ones whenever uh, v star universe was being uh, showcased that and crown zenith this is the one that a lot of people were actually super stoked about and like looking at it, i can very clearly see why gardenia is a pretty popular character she'd already gotten a full art before in the sun and moon era and that card's actually pretty pricey still even on the japanese side however this card right here i mean it's a fantastic alternative it's a great card does a lot of good stuff right there but in my personal opinion one of the best SARs to come from the set this is going to be a solid s in my opinion this is going to be the first s that i give out and it's just i mean who's going to argue with this card how are you going to argue against this card being an s tier very clearly deserves it all the cameo pokemon it's always something nice showing a little bit more of what gardenia is all about definitely get the feel this is what she'd be doing when she's not fucking doing gym leader shit right there all right what's next what's next Ooh, we got boss's orders we got cyrus right here once again definitely could have been a little bit better art i think that like an sar boss's orders would have really did some good stuff and they started doing that in the actual scarlet and violet era. so they did a Geddes sar for the boss's orders and that one's fantastic i do like that one a lot this one not so much i do like cyrus as a leader i do like the pokemon that he actually uses and michihiro rita did do this one he does great profiles of characters right there just the actual lack of things i mean he to put this in perspective i mean he drew base set charizard he also drew shadow rider calyrex v max sar like the not the sar the hyper rare god dang the hyper rare for that one and then like going from that card to this card i mean just just looking at it, this is definitely not one of my favorites from the set and it's just i don't know very playable card just like professor's research you're gonna see these in decks still rocking however there's several variations of boss's orders for you to choose from and i mean they, i think in the english side they made like lunch boxes for you to have a full playable set pretty cool just not my favorite one if i had to put this one unfortunately this is also going to be a d tier card i mean look at that this is better than that card right there look at that Look at Clara right there, just hanging out. Alrighty, what is next? Ooh, we got Alessa Sparkle. This is going to be the SR. One point, this was the most expensive card from V-Star Universe. I remember when that was going. It was like a 200 and something dollar card. It has since dropped a good little bit. This is going to be her hanging out at the fun park in Nimbasa City. I like Alessa a good little bit. She's no Skyla. Skyla is definitely where the, the real party's at, but... Alessa does have some good stuff. It's fantastic art. One of the few fusion arts cards that are going to be up right there where it has like the fusion thing. I think people forget that single and rapid strike were a thing as well as the fusion. And there were cards definitely played in that too. You can very much think of that like the future and ancient if you're new to that. Megumi.
Megumi Mizutani did that. She's drawn a lot of great full art trainers as well. She did some back in the X Y era too that I really like a little bit. But one of my favorite full art trainer artists did this one. Fantastic card. Not my favorite character of all time. However, it you know, the art cannot be argued against unless it's a very popular character. And people are definitely going to like this one a lot. If this is your favorite card in the set, I got nothing against that at all. It's going to be a B tier card for me. But if someone put it higher, I fucking get it. I completely understand Alessa. I, I get it. Alrighty, what's what's next? Ooh, we got Melanie. We got the queen right here. So this is this is the waifu card, in my personal opinion, from the set right here. Melanie is just the entire package. It's a great thing for the entire water side of the decks. I think whenever Palkia and the Palkia V-Star decks are going on, you could play Irida. And then you could also do some stuff with Melanie to get some water energies out. It's still very playable right now. I've seen Melanie being thrown around Chen Pao decks. And the art right here is amazing. You got a little snob in the back. That's not Snom being cooked. There's Snom right there, safe and sound. You got Ice Q. And then the nice little touches back there. One of the things I like is these nice little family photos you got back here. You got the Frost Moth hanging out. You got Gordy up at the top. Gordy's another one of my favorite trainers. And then you got Melanie, of course, right there. It's This is such a great card. This is such a good thing, making so much food, doing so much. This is what I like to see out of trainer cards right here. It does not also hurt that it is Melanie, of course. S tier. S tier all day, S tier all night, S tier anytime I ever see this card. One of the best cards in V Star Universe, if not the best card in V Star Universe, in my opinion. All right, just a few more. We're almost done. Ooh, we got Sharon's Care right here. So, Sharon's Care, this card is much better than what some of the previous Sharon cards I've seen. I like the fact that it's got Lipard right there. Very, very much telling of what Sharon is actually all about. A gym leader in black and white, too, and then a, a rival in black and white, one. Moving forward, this is the black and white, two model. You can tell because he doesn't have his glasses anymore. He has his tie on right there. I like this card a lot. Chibi drew this one. Chibi has a very nice art style that very much shows like colors, nature, Pokemon. They do a lot of great cards and they draw a lot of great things sharon's care it's one of those cards hey i like a sharon card this one's going to be a b tier card for me and i i completely understand if someone likes this card more than me it's a fantastic one it's a good one and none of the sars and set are bad none of them all right what's next we're almost done here okay so we got ryan i really want this hoodie by the way still i know it was being sold at one point I think I might still try to get one maybe after card party when we come back. I'm not trying to save money more. I like Raihan quite a bit. Homie's just an absolute chad. He's about like seven foot tall. A dragon type trainer. Absolute, you know, loves his fans. Always signs stuff for that stuff. Constantly filming himself on the Rotom phone as well. Going really good. I like Raihan a good little bit. I like Duraludon. I like the Pokemon that Homie uses. I like that stuff. Jadora is the one that drew this card. Very much showing of like what... This is what I like to see whenever it comes to trainers and their SARs and alternates arts and stuff like that too. Showing them doing more dynamic stuff stuff you wouldn't typically see them doing in battles or stuff like that this is the type of cards that i like to see if someone doesn't like certain cards especially with trainers they're very polarizing i understand some people like certain things more than others and some people like certain characters as well but for me anyway when it comes to actually deciding for full art trainers a lot goes into what's actually going on whenever it comes to what's going on in the card just you know different things you don't always see this is a b tier card for me personally i like it a lot i think it's a good card this is a quality sar for a quality trainer all right what's our last card okay right here so this is one of my favorite friends cards it was this is friends in hisui right here so you got irida admin you got akari and you got ray all chilling, all hanging out, all doing cool stuff, hanging out with a little flute that summons all the friends. I, I think Legends Arceus, I don't think anyone's really going to disagree. Like it, It's one of the best Pokemon games that was released in a long time. It had a lot of great things with the characters. I just wish they did more stuff with some of the cards, gave some of the other trainers that were featured in there some cards and some time too. But for what you see right here, I mean, just fantastic art, fantastic characters. Kinu Nishimura did this one. I mean, it's, just, it's a nice green setting. It's got the characters everybody likes too. I mean, there's not really a bad thing you can say about this card. In my personal opinion, this is one of the best friends cards that was released. It's going to be in the A tier for me, showcasing, you know, the main people that you're going to see in Legends Arceus. If you haven't played the game, I really recommend it. I really do think you should pick it up. You're fucking missing out on a great Pokemon game. That's all I got. That's going to be all 16 of them ranked. Once again, if you dislike the tier list, I fucking get it. Make your own. Post your stuff up. You're free to do so. Adios. See you later. Have a good one, virgins.